Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Been a long time since I uh, feel like every time I do a video I start it with that because I'm so inconsistent, but Well, I got a lot to fill you guys in on so stay tuned and I'll get into it. about the big news in a second right now god it is can't see anything right now i'm headed to bikes and breakfast and it looks like it's going to be a crappy day but it's not going to be it's just the fog that needs to burn off here going to be 80 hovering hovering about 85 degrees here in pennsylvania on on you know what are we in? We're not even in May yet, so... Ooh. Slippery. So, it's going to be nice and hot. So I'm going to the bikes and breakfast. Going to hang out there. Check out the bikes and whatnot, but... So if you saw the thumbnail, the big news is... I bought another bike. Yep. I actually don't have the bike. Um, I bought it about a month ago now. I bought it from a Harley Davidson dealership in Illinois. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. I'll, I'll see if you guys can guess. I left an Easter egg or two on uh, Instagram. Only one person asked me about it. So if you follow me there. Man, is this that wet, this road? I can't even see. Hold on. No. So, you may or may not know. A few people know. Not many, but... I'll, I'll tell you it's a cruiser. So, I don't... I'm buy another bagger. It's used. High miles. Um, paid for in full. So, I mean, I've been... If you guys have been following me, I've been talking about maybe adding another bike to the lineup for a while now. Talked about maybe trading this in, but in previous videos I squashed all that. But I've been looking, 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 um, trying to find the right deal. Had a particular budget in mind. Didn't want to spend a ton of money. Uh, wanted to have something that's more of like a... You know more of like a local rider everyday rider not that this isn't because i don't have a problem doing that at all wanted something that i could mess with more on my own like motor work that type of stuff so something that's not you know got a stage two three four none of that right stock motor So yeah, that's uh, that's the big news. Part of the reason I don't have it is because the whole shipping thing, which I negotiated. So yeah, first first of all, I didn't buy the bike sight on scene. I didn't even see the bike. And a lot of you may be like, oh, that's that's a little bit sketchy. You know, rightly so. You have your opinion. But uh, I did the same thing with this Road King. You know, like. A lot of bikes can be had outside of the tri-state area, at least from what I see, for a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, and I don't know if that's market-based or whatnot, but, um, you know, I was really looking for something a lot less. Or really looking for the lowest price possible with regard to what I was looking for, right? So, yeah, I found it in Illinois at a Harley dealership, high miles didn't see it just pure facetime video of the bike pictures um like i said i did the same thing with this bike i got this one out of florida and um it was sitting in an indian dealership for the longest time 
pulled the trigger and I didn't see it for about a month and a half because of the shipping then as well so I probably won't see that bike it still hasn't been picked up I probably won't see it till mid-May um, from a like from a reveal perspective so you guys can see it uh, I'm not I'm not gonna tease it right now with pictures and stuff but um, I didn't get it for anything like YouTube or none of that. I mean, I'll definitely, you know, it'll be on the channel in terms of what I'm going to do to it. But like I said, I've been wanting a, another bike for a while. So, and I've been just, like I said, looking for the right price, looking for the right bike. And I was finally able to come across it. So I'm excited about that. You guys will see it. But let me know your thoughts. Just comment below. Take a wild guess of what it might be. Like I said, I did leave something on Instagram. But no one really said anything, so. But looking forward to that. And um, that being said, I'll check in when I get closer to the event. I might have to pull over here and put warmer gloves on. I'm getting wet in the mist. Hands are a little cold, so talk to you guys in a couple. So yeah, can't wait for you guys to see the new bike. Actually, I can't wait to see the bike. It's like a, it's like a mystery. Like, is everything gonna be okay with it when it shows up? Now, twenty-one thousand miles on the bike. So I mean, it's not like super high miles. It's an M8. I'll tell you that. Decent turnout. It's only nine o'clock. This goes till noon, maybe. Pretty good so far. There's nothing real. You know, normally I'd run the rows and show you some of the bikes, but there's nothing that really stands out. That's like super, you know, rare or different. There's a couple old bikes coming in right now, but I wanted to show you. In one of my previous videos, I talked about. Uh, a buddy of mine, Dave Cooper, Coop, I've called him or referred to him as, he has the um, the Highway King, and you've probably seen it on a previous video, and I talked about him doing uh, some modifications when I did the walkthrough. Well, they're done. Let me show you what this looks like. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. So what's different is the last time we did a walkthrough on his bike, he added the, the DNA Specialty 21, well obviously with the white wall, which, but he had the stock white walls last time because that's what comes with the bike factory. The DNA rotors, um, he did the chrome lowers. I mean, it looks awesome. There were some haters commenting about touching this bike but I think he did I think he did it right it's still really tasteful he didn't do any like crazy modifications to it he had a guy and I don't know who it is and I'll ask Koopman I can probably put it in the description below but he had a guy match so the air cleaner inlay he had to match it just like the tank console inlay so he's 552 of a thousand. I mean, that looks awesome. That's all custom because, as you guys know, it comes with the 114 inlay badge. And then he's got the, which is the only thing I run too. Saddleman knocked this out of the park with his seat. I know 
His, he did a custom, obviously you get it in black and everything and all kinds of different uh, thread patterns and everything, but he's got the diamond stitch with the white back and the white stitch, white diamond stitch, Salomon logo in the back. I mean, it looks awesome. Complements the bike really nicely. It's really low profile. I don't really like that seat that comes with this at a factory, but I know some of you guys that are into the classic bikes will probably hate me for saying that, but he also did this, this is cool, I didn't know they did this, and he was telling me about this before, but the primary cover, check that out. It, it's a Harley product, and it kind of comes in, I guess, like, and it's got this, it takes it all the way in, so it hides that black, that wrinkled black part of the primary, so it looks awesome. And you can see, even on the inner, it comes around it. I think that's pretty cool, I didn't know they did that. That looks awesome, really sharp. What else did he do? I mean, the boards and everything I talked about in the previous video. I think that was it. Oh, he did suspension. So he did the Revo A's, all right? No cartridges, same as mine, or Revo's. He did not do the Revo A's. I just, he didn't do the adjustables, no. So just the Revo's. I think they're probably stock, so maybe 12. I'll ask him 12 or 13 inch. I needed the Axio drop-ins in the front. He had to lose the trim piece here because of the 21 inch wheel. But he's got a couple things, a couple, a few other things that he's gonna do. He's gonna do steady custom cycles, traditions bars, I think they are, one and a half inch. He's gonna change the crash bar too to steady custom cycles and then he's gonna do Steady Custom Cycles pipes, custom pipes, the, I forget what they're called, man. The ones that kind of swoop up. That's how much I know about the, the vehicle world. But yeah, it looks awesome. He keeps this thing so clean, the chrome is un freaking believable. I think he cleans it like every time he rides. It's not even like a fingerprint now. No. Now after I put mine on it. Looks awesome. music over that. <laughs> All right. Gonna go hang out for a little bit, see if anybody, any more bikes show up and uh, if anything cool shows up, I'll show you guys. Check in in a bit.
You're fine. something like that i'll leave it i can't remember it off the top of my head the handle but they, he's the one that runs this they do 50 50 raffle it's a good it's a good it's a it's a good event so if you guys are in the area it's a fourth friday fourth sunday where's my head fourth sunday every month um and it's a good time so check it out i'll catch up with you guys when i get out of here peace yeah <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to go ride for a little bit. I don't really want to record. I just want to get lost a little bit and not talk to the camera. So I got a lot coming up, guys. I talked to you about the new bike. Going to do some cool. I think I'm going to do some cool stuff with it. You know, whether or not you guys like it, that remains to be seen. That's up to you. But uh, there will be another bike on the channel nonetheless. Got some good ideas, I, I feel. But... I'm excited to show you guys at least but uh, that being said as always appreciate you guys you know supporting me coming for the ride watching the videos commenting liking uh, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing I'd definitely appreciate it and uh, uh, stay tuned like I said more to come and uh, I will see you guys on the next one peace out